hello in this video we are going to discuss module 5 of principles of information security that is wireless LAN IEEE 802.11 um, actually in this module we will be discussing about various wireless LAN security wireless LAN vulnerabilities then uh, cell phone security mobile malware etc and in this video we are discussing about wireless LAN actually you can use two types of wireless LAN other one is ad hoc network and another one is infrastructure wireless LAN in the case of ad hoc wireless LAN the mobile stations will communicate directly but what about infrastructure wireless LAN infrastructure wireless LAN uses access points it has got three main parts MS AP and AS where MS is mobile station AP is an access point and AS is authentication server from the figure you can see uh, there are various uh, stations you can see in the figure various stations and these stations are connected to a access point one and in the lower part you can see another uh, section which is uh, which also includes various wireless uh, stations which are connected with an access point and in the uh, first part uh, there is an access point one and the second part there is an access point two and the, both these access points are connected with a wired LAN and the first part you can call it as a basic service set and the second part also you can call, call it as another basic service set and uh, the connection is done by a authentication server which you can call a radius server so this is the concept of an infrastructure wireless LAN and in this module we are going to take this type of wireless LAN that is infrastructure wireless LAN and here how the uh, communication occurs initially a, a WS that means a station and send frame to an access point then the access point will forward it to the destination the destination will be any other station in the same set in the same set they can be various wireless stations so when a one wireless station will send a frame it is captured by the AP and AP will forward it to another wireless station so in that way communication between the wireless station can occur now here the AP can act as a bridge between a wired and wireless LAN because see in the uh, figure before you can see the access points are connected with a wired LAN and access point is the one that is connecting the various wireless stations so here you can say access point act as a bridge between the wireless LAN and the wired LAN now in the wired network uh, for example usually it uses an ethernet LAN uh, it includes a security infrastructure and an authentication server so in here we are using the authentication server as radius server hmm? okay so what is the purpose of radius server radius server it, it does the three A's that is authentication authorization and accounting now what we have to do is we have to develop a protocol that integrate the wireless LAN network and it performs the whole security infrastructure of the wired network so that is what we have to do so the wireless LAN includes a basic service set as I have already told you a basic service set is the upper part of the figure which includes various wireless stations and these wireless stations are connected with an access point now what will be an ESS a set of union of BSS can be called as ESS so in the figure the whole figure can you can consider it as an ESS an extended service set which includes two BSS basic service set and each BSS includes wireless stations and an access point and how to identify the uh, access point and wireless station in an ESS it is done by a MAC address a MAC address which includes a 48 bit address which is used to identify AP and wireless station in an ESS an extended service set so how can you identify an access point AP an access point AP can be identified by SSID that is service set ID which is used to identify AP and it is also a 32 character value now for a station how it discovers an access point in strain in order to uh, communicate with other stations the wireless station needs to uh, find the AP so how can it find why there are two ways for it one way is AP send a beacon frame periodically 
by time in ap send pecon frames a pecon frame will be broadcasted by ap then this pecon frame includes nss id that is identifier of the ap so when uh, the wireless stations receives uh, this pecon frame it will get the ss id of ap so that is one way another way is wireless station send probe request frame to ap's within its range so in order to find ap within a, within the range of a wireless station a wireless station sends a probe request so as response to this probe request when hearing about this probe request what the ap does is ap will send a response a probe response frame to it so in that way a communication is formed between a wireless station and an ap initially wireless station sends a probe request and then on receiving it ap in its range will respond to it with a probe response and the probe response includes the identifier of the ap that is ssid the capabilities of the ap and also the supported data rate of the ap all these things are included along with the probe response now in order to become a part of wireless lan a wireless station has to associate with a single ap to to coordinate with a single ap to form communication between a ap and wireless station initially a wireless station need to associate we can call the term associate with a ap actually a wireless station can associate only with a single ap that is a wireless station can associate only with a single ap so what it do is an associate request frame is sent by the wireless station to associate with an ap so on hearing this associate request frame ap will send a response what will be it associate response frame when ws yes, that is workstation uh, wireless station sends a request frame associate request from ap will send an associate response frame so before that the wireless station needs to authenticate with the ap so initially a wireless station authenticate with ap and then form the association initially authentication and then association now in this module in the later parts we are going to discuss about wep and wpa that is wep is a wired equivalent privacy that was used to perform security in the wifi actually it was intended to use authentication access control data integrity confidentiality etc but what happened was all those were failed in the case of wep then uh, it, then it used wpa that is wifi protected access to overcome drawbacks of wep all these cases we will discuss in the later videos thank you